Good evening, good boys. This is your boy, Random Hero 445 and about 30 to 45 <laughs> mi- minutes ago, I beat the fuck out of Jacob's dick so goddamn hard that he started going like, Random, stop! <laughs> no, no, how could you give me a hand job when I'm the one who's usually just masturbating? Fear you fear. needed help, man. You couldn't do it your no, yourself. I Fucking help. I mean, I'm a big boy now. I'm like the oldest one here, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you needed help, man, because you are struggling just by yourself. Because I can tell in the hey, I can't voice. help it if my right testicle droops lower than my left one. That's why I gotta keep it up for you. <laughs> oh, no. All right, all right, all right. Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. No homo. No fucking homo. No, all of the homo, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! He's a homo sapien. Oh, no. I'm gonna like yeah. quarantine him. Oh, oh no! I gotta get quarantined now. <laughs> yeah. Ah shit. Yeah. Fuck. Oh All right. god. This so, is the best. So we have a little uh, spurg, a uh, little friendly old spurg here with us today. Would you like to introduce yourself, Mister XX underscore Shade underscore XX? <laughs> Shade X. Uh, I make YouTube videos about um, animation, and I my, my most popular videos are gorillas related. So let's begin it off with a uh, James Gunn, and why we believe James Gunn is either a uh, is either a total weirdo or excused. Catbit, what is your stance? Um, I have yet to watch Guardians of the Galaxy yet, so I don't know why you guys care about this get person well, i don't know basically he made some edgy jokes in the past well i'd say that he's excused because he actually worked for trauma studios in the past and we all know how trauma studios is toxic avenger and stuff oh like, yeah his like, like first film know, was tromeo and juliet yeah that was oh his first film so i think he's totally excused or whatever i mean um and I honestly don't blame the guy. Like, he made a joke about the giving tree, how it would, like, give the kid a blowjob. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, he ended up on making a bunch of child predator jokes, and it was kind of Oh, weird. man. But, uh, but I'd say he is excused, because <clears throat> uh, he did work for Troma Studios. And, yeah. and Yeah, but then he became a sellout and just started directing cape shit for Disney. Yeah, just yeah, you can get away with it because he worked on one movie. You can be a pedophile all you want. Yeah. No, you can't be like that Brian Stinger guy. I hate him. Yeah, fuck that dude. What did he do? Brian Stinger was is like known to be like a pedophile. He like directed the X Men movies, but for some reason he's like Dan Schneider. No, like people know he's a deviant, but they haven't really like caught him yet. Well, we're gonna get him one day, and once we do, we'll be here. We'll be here. It'll be the best episode. It'll be the best episode of The Good Boys when that happens. It's going to be the best day of my life. I'm going to tell you that. Yeah, I think... No, the best day of our life was when Dan Schneider got busted. Ah, shit, yeah! Hashtag I thought the best day episode of our... I thought the best episode would be the day we talk about Butch Hartman being a total cunt bag. Oh, that's today! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That is The day has come! (laughs) So, if you haven't been on Twitter for the past week, Butch has been in a lot of hot water. Because yeah, he's been because... running his goddamn mouth, and people are starting to say shit about him. We got Basically, quite a long what... list here. Oh yeah, I found someone made a list of stuff on like this server. <clears throat> like, server. Like, there was a whole list of all the stuff he did. All right. Can you name that list for me, please? All right. Oh, Axis. <gasps> How long is this list? Seven, 20, 20, 20 things. I don't know if I can go over all that. Oh, my. Just go over the big ones that happened. That people started talking about this week. The oh, axis of lies. Yep. There was also From Trefo. Yeah. What else was there? There was also that thing like um that came out about like um him like making fun of like um 
the old Timmy Turner voice actress. It's like, yo, Tara Strong, you're the that's probably you're probably one of the reasons she committed suicide. And I'm like, oh, that's yeah. fucked. That was really <laughs> messed up. I don't know why he would say that or even joke about. Uh, Apparently, yeah. I think like the reason. It- oh yeah, he he also thinks that like um entertainment these days is making people depressed and suicidal. Yeah, and yeah. he's like, oh wow, when, with Oaxis, depression will go away. Wow, my depression is fully gone. Thanks, Oaxis. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. Even though shit. we have people that think it's Oaxis is like Christian indoctrination, which just makes me wonder. At what point did Butch Hartman decide he was like a Christian, even though his shows like Fairly Odd Parents have very questionable stuff like male pregnancy and inflation yeah. stuff? And plastic surgery. Yeah, plastic surgery. Yeah, when Cosmo got tits. And he's like, yeah. I'm kicking him. And- that, that, I still don't understand why male fairies got pregnant. I mean, does that mean they they have penises or they have vaginas? And, and that, that, that just makes me wonder, Do did other male fairies get pregnant? Like Jorgen von Strangle or Juan Decimo? Oh, no. Now you're making me uncomfortable with that. I can see Juan Decimo getting pregnant. And he oh, probably, like, no. um, you know when people like take pictures of like their pregnant bodies? They go to photo oh, shoots gosh. and shit. I can see him doing that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> why are you making me? Why are you making it uncomfortable for me to enjoy the fairly odd? Because like now? Butch thought this would be funny. <laughs> like oh, instead of having Wanda be pregnant, let's have Cosmo be pregnant. That's so silly, but that just opens up a whole can of worms. Yeah, I'm. I'm scared now. Thanks a lot, guys. Feel free to talk whenever you want, Shade. You're being a little quiet. Okay, um, so yeah, basically, oh yeah, this, this, um, so it was discovered by Rise and Fall of Nickelodeon, that guy, Trafon, that like, um, well, someone, oh, someone else discovered it, I think, and sent it to him, but, um, Butch Hartman liked a bunch of weird stuff on his alternate YouTube channel. Oh, God. Yeah. Like a lot of anti-SJW stuff, like transphobic stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, oh like, no! She's in a little bit of a pickle. Oh, does he watch like Infowars? Nah, he's a big Paul fan jo- of Paul, Yeah, pa- Paul Joseph Watson. Yeah, Resonator, you son of a bitch! My opinion is more important than yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like. <"You laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I bet he watched that a panda video and unironically agreed with it. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I know. There was also another thing he said that that got everyone upset. Like one time, like he was like doing a live stream, and then someone just asked, "Hey, did you see that one Family Guy Oaxis meme?" And then he started going on a rant saying, "Like, hey, if you don't do like art or cartoons, like you should not give criticism at all," which so, is fucking God. stupid. So let really me get this. Like, so ignorant. let me get this. So let me get this straight. Butch Hartman put an end to his friendship, to his nearly twenty-year friendship with. With Seth MacFarlane just because of some dumb joke on Family Guy. No, like, um, here's a fun... No, I was, um, that's not the topic yet, but I'll get to that, like, after this, like, thing. So, with this thing, um, he's just saying, like, hey, um, if you don't work in my field, you have no right to criticize me. I'm Butch Hartman. <clears throat> I'm, I'm at the higher, like, part of the mountain, dude. He, like, Butch is such a fucking big-ass ego. It's honestly <laughs> disgusting. You know it's funny, like um, you know it's funny. Well, who's that one guy that created the Too Loud cartoon? Um, uh, Nico um Colio, I think. Nico yeah, he was, No, he was complaining about how yeah, like even since the, even when he was working on the Fairly Odd Parents, like um, Butch Hartman was showing signs of his massive ego and such. Like, he would just draw yeah, himself as all... a superhero and such, always gain the girl while every cartoonist <laughs> on the show. I don't know, like... (laughs) What is it, you guys? The Nigatin! I can't believe he drew himself as, like, the cat... I bet he's more like Catman than the Crimson Chin, you know? He's just some crazy asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Here comes the Crimson Chin! The Nibachin. Alright, King of the Monsters. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. (laughs) 
Uh, oh yeah, like but like oh, let's go back to this like Seth MacFarlane thing. So here's what I found out recently. Um, you know, back then, Butch Hartman and Seth MacFarlane were friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so they apparently, they basically don't talk as much anymore because, according to Butch, like Seth's views were too liberal. Oh my oh god! My fucking... The fucking funniest wow. thing to me. Oh As if his God. views became more radical, even though they haven't. Yeah. I have no idea. Like, can you imagine, like, um, thinking Seth MacFarlane is too liberal? Like, that is really strange. I know Seth has very progressive views, but, like, um, <laughs> can you imagine just, like, stop being friends with him just because he is too liberal. Yeah, that's like, just honestly... What does that say about Eddie. Butch? There's also that one thing I heard about how um, the Sparky, the fairy dog's actor, became transgender. And that for some reason, the character was written out of the show. And oh, yeah. I think yeah. one of us said it was because of Butch being a uh, transphobic or homophobic. Oh, he, did like, yeah. he, did like, he did like that video. He did like that video on YouTube. That was made by, oh, I think... Was uh, it like, there are only two genders... It was made by a turf because it said feminist. You know, those anti-trans feminists because it said feminist oh, in the god. title. Oh god, not turfs. Oh god. Turfs? My friend was turfs? Like yeah, that trans one video exclusion. That was like a, uh... My friend turfs, the artist from Australia, or um. No, turfs are trans exclusionary radical feminists. They're basically oh. like lesbians who basically think trannies are like not real women. And it's oh. fucking. Oh, and it's fucking atrocious. Oh, I it reminds gonna... me of Chris Chan's like a, uh, like his <clears throat> S T S L B T Q or whatever. What was it? L S L G B T Q thing. Yeah, like, and, and the S okay, stood for straight. That's just him being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and again, Chris Chan has shown signs of being a complete retard on a more on more Wait, than. Wait, I thought the S know. stood for Sonichu. No, the no S, stood S stands for straight. For straight. <laughs> yeah, it means oh, everybody because knows. God. <laughs> is he really that stupid? That I, 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 I don't know. When I saw that, I'm like, I'm like, or like, just Chris, like Christian, like Chris Chan. There's still a bit of him in there somewhere. There was never anyone in there at all. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was just, He's just an like an empty, empty show that he wants to put stuff in. Uh, all right, Godzilla, I, King of the Monsters. Um, um that's not like Austin's Austin. not here. Wait, is that like the new Western Godzilla film? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Made by it's supposed to be good, I guess, because it's like how it's like a uh, how it's like, hey, we're putting all these monsters against each other. Wasn't there like a anim animated series or something that was supposed to be created out of a uh, out of Godzilla at one point in a in America? Yeah, well there was Netflix. like that one Oh, wasn't it like that? Well, that one was like movie an anime, where, like, God, I think. Wasn't it that one movie where like Godzilla becomes old or something? No, it was know. an anime or something. Yeah, there's uh, two. Yeah. There's two Godzilla yeah, I think that movies came out on when Netflix. There's two Godzilla movies on Netflix. Have not watched them yet, but they're anime. Hmm. Honestly, um, like I like the old Godzilla movies. I haven't been like catching up to date with like um, the new ones. I only saw the 2014 um, Godzilla movie. That's oh, it. All right. I've I've only seen the 1998 Godzilla movie. It was atrocious. Oh God! That's a lot of fish. <laughs> no, we're not doing that again. Oh yeah. Oh, that would have been a perfect time for like a uh, Doug Walker to go on a hissy fit over it. Oh my be. Man, I can't. Oh. I wish we could go see Doug Walker at a convention again, but we probably won't. Yeah, somebody's just gonna they like kick us out him. last time. They kicked us out last time. Wait, what? Yeah, they kicked us out at the convention. Don't you remember? I don't. Oh yeah, like um, they kicked us out because We're not like doing I was another trying bit to... where we pretend that we did something. I'm cutting this part out. I swear to God, I hate Fuck you, oh, ate it. <laughs> the bits are so Fuck dumb. You ate it. The podcast well, you're dumb. Because they're not. The podcast funny. could have been saved, but now it's Why not. Are going? <laughs> uh oh, we're Cat Catbit. Where are you going? He's going to Jesus Cat camp. Catbit's going to Jesus camp again <laughs> for the tenth time this week. 
Or he's going to SeaWorld for the fifth time. Yeah, he goes to SeaWorld a lot. Yeah. I don't get why. I wish I, wish I went to SeaWorld because... a lot as a kid. But no, I mean, okay. if your parents had, like, a season pass to SeaWorld, you wouldn't want to go, like, whenever you could. What? No, I wasn't going to SeaWorld. It's like my parents were going to drag me out to Jesus Camp again. I can't believe oh. it. Thankfully, I saved Jesus. myself from going again. Uh-oh. How'd you save yourself? Did, um, did you do I the told... Lord's Prayer? Yes. <laughs> did, you, did you show no, him? You did, did, you... Did, did they show you, like, a picture of a dude and they made sure that you didn't have a boner? I pretend to look dumb. <laughs> they, showed, they showed you like gay porn and stuff, and they were like, "Look at it! Look at it!" It was like that one scene from a uh, Clockwork Orange. Oh, no. Like his eyes are just okay, like wide no. open. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, yeah. So with Godzilla shit, there was Comic Con uh, this week in this country. What what shit do you guys want? To, were highlights from that? Oh, fucking um, Invader Zim. Oh, oh yeah, Invader, Invader Zim. Invader Zim. It looks, yeah, it looks really good. They're, but they're copying, they're copying the comic art style, I think. Yeah, and also like, um, some of the plot I can tell is from like the first issue of the comic. Yeah. Honestly, I haven't read the comic yet, so I don't. Have... I honestly really enjoy the comic, but it's, but it's toned down from original Invader Zim. It's more goofy. Wait, wait. Yeah. So we're adapting the comics now that is like really weird it's like know. an anime now the it's comic cool. it's like it's been several years after or how many years was it a few like was it the after it was canceled <laughs> but like um, the comic came like around like 2015 yeah i would i but, like okay. dib's been in his room a really long time and yeah, like he became a neat <laughs> Yeah, he he's like really he was, he like was always kind of neat, and yeah. he was also probably a potential school shooter since he. Had I mean, that he had that tr- he had that fucking trench coat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, why do you think his sister hates him so much? Yeah, Dip, like Gaz is the best character. Just think about that. Yeah, I mean, I like Gaz. remember that one time she was like um stalking this one neck this one uh. This one oh, fat kid. Yeah. Just oh yeah, the Game it. Slave Two episode. I love that episode. That's one of my favorite episodes in the series. Oh. Bitch didn't even pre-order. I can't believe it. She deserved the game, though. Who doesn't? Pre- what kind of person doesn't pre-order a game in this day and age? Oh wait. Yeah, but was this was before like people had the internet. Yeah. Yeah. So she just saw like a commercial and was like, <laughs> oh shit, this game's out. I gotta go to the mall. And then there was, like, a huge-ass line for it. What was this, like, Grand Theft Auto 6 or something? Jesus. Yeah. I yeah, think no. it was the X. I think it was the Xbox or the PlayStation 2. What was it? No, it was I'm for, surprised like, they were able to get games. away with the word slave in a kid's show. Yeah, no, basically it was, it was on, like, a little portable, like, DS thing. So, a DS and t- Yeah, so when like the game came was out, it she- like that one Johnny Test <coughs> DS where it had like a hundred different screens. Oh my god, don't remind me of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so when like um she found out about this new game, she's like, oh shit, and then she just tosses it in the fucking trash, then it fucking blows up and ghosts come out of it. And I'm like, I fucking love that shit. So, what well, she yeah, realized the fun. game was That's- bad then. So sh- since like um this one kid Iggins gets the last copy, she basically fucking tortures him until she until he gives it to her. And I'm like, that's fucking genius. I love it. Yeah. And this kid's yeah, eyes like are like song. bugging out all the time. He acts like basically, um, he acts like one of those people on like um Reddit all the time, who just does nothing but talk about how much he's. Ex- He's like a fucking game expert. He's like, yo, I know more about this game. I've been a fan since the beginning and shit. He sounds like somebody in the YouTube comments sitting there saying, I've been a fan since year one of your work, Mr. PewDiePie. I was sub to you before 100 subscribers. That's basically, honestly, what he w- was supposed to represent. I think oh, if Iggins like, grew up, he would have been like a neckbeard. Oh, God. <laughs> he would have been I'm like pretty- a white knight online. He, uh, he probably has a shit buck in his room. <laughs> He'd probably be a white guy. He has like that one Eric Cartman crap bucket from the World of Warcraft episode. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
Yeah, he probably also pissed in Gatorade bottles. Oh no! Oh, he God. probably played. He's like, oh, the other Game Slave Five isn't as good as Game Slave Two, and he just plays Game Slave Two all the time like a hipster. Yeah, and he probably is like Pokemon Gen One is better than the others. Yeah. Hey guys, I just remembered. Like, uh, what about the Titans? The the edgy R-rated oh, Titan show. God. Yo, fuck Batman. Hey! <laughs> Let's talk about Man, that. Man, I can't believe Robin said the F word before Pearl. Damn Which it! Per- what Pearl? Steven Universe. Oh, uh, Steven Universe. <laughs> she didn't. Yeah. I can't believe Robin said fuck. Hey, uh, but anyway, um, I think that a. Uh, Tell my story, everyone. I'm being forced out. I'm going to be dragged down and shot in a back alley. Uh oh. Oh, damn. Yeah. Goodbye, okay. everyone. Alright, I know you will. Bye, every pony. <laughs> hey, uh, don't, but anyway, don't, don't say every pony. The new, to me, t- the new Titans show, the new Titans web show. Um, I honestly hate the Starfire design. Uh, I hate yeah. the. She raven. doesn't seem like an alien. Like, and also. Ev- Everyone doesn't seem like um, like ravens from another dimension. Like Starfire is an she alien. She literally like, just they looks s- shit. Starfire literally just looks like a um, a generic fire uh, woman number six over here. Like she looks no different than like friggin' a uh, that one flame torch guy, the human torch yeah, from Fan. The human torch, torch or that kid from Sky High. <laughs> or that kid from Sky oh, High. God. Yeah. They, uh, like yeah, like- they all look like Halloween yeah. costumes used on like a. Yeah. Teen yeah, Titans they look porno. like uh, they look like um, cosplays that you like. There are like Teen Titans pornos that are like more accurate to the. Oh material. my god! Really? Oh god! I wonder like how bit long Cyborg's dick would be. Oh man! I didn't even see okay. Cyborg once yeah, in the Cyborg. trailer. Watch him like He's make not Cyborg. Yeah, because Cyborg is in the Justice League now for whatever fucking reason. I don't know. Hey, sir, bro, do need you a black need oil change. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't get why they put him in Justice League because now he can't be in Teen Titans. They're like, no, he can't. He can't be in Teen Titans because he's in Justice League now. Well, My guess Teen is Titans, because they the forgot Titans. there's a Black Green Lantern. Yeah. Stuart. I mean, I'm fine Ooh, with the. But not just mainly because of the fact that John yeah, Stewart and like Lantern. leave leave Cyborg as a Teen Titan because like they change his origin to where he joins the Justice League. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think Raven doesn't. I, I miss Raven's cloak. She just wears a lot of punk clothes. That's oh my god. She's it. like the embodiment of edgy and emo ness in this day. And age. Yeah. Like yeah, that's basically what at, she like, is. Hot topic or whatever. She's like, no, she dresses more like um, hipster. I like the darkness. The darkness is crazy. Oh my god! Ah! She dresses yeah. what Pan would like her to dress as. Oh my god! Don't don't say that to me. Beast Boy actually um, is the one who looks spot on. Yeah. yeah, I thought he wouldn't be green, but in the trailer, I guess they're doing they're doing like CGI to make him look green. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I thought he'd be like um white, you know, like that one extra in Trouble in Tokyo. Oh no. They oh, made no. Beast Boy. I think that yeah, they made Beast Boy Asian. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Yeah, he was always yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't give a shit about whatever. That. Um. All I, right. I, I don't so give. There's... I don't give a shit about Starfire being black either. I don't care about that. I mean, I think oh, wait, it she's Starfire black. less yeah, recognizable, honestly. Yeah. Starfire's outfit is just awful. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And probably her wig. I feel like they make everybody look like, like a like a feminist version of it, where it's like, it can't look beautiful. It has to be a uh, a true version of a woman or whatever. You know, like how, like... It seems, it seems like Tumblr fan art to be like, this is what Teen Titans look in this modern age. Yeah, yeah, where they're like... Uh, thicker than they normally are, making their recognizability totally lost. Yeah. They all have vitiligo. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, yeah. it's vitiligo. Vitiligo. Vitiligo, vitiligo. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's the OKKO okay yeah, so... uh, crossover. That was what about Hell yeah, it's the deal. second crossover. Oh, with, yeah. um, Garnet, Ben 10, and Raven, and that's such a Epic idea. And, and just KO. a bunch of random people. Honestly, yeah, I'm KO. excited for it. I think that OKKO OK is like a uh, 
I think it's I think it's just kind of like an alternate universe where he's kind of in our position, but like you have like the card game. And yeah. I think I think it's a really I think if they just keep on pushing the concept further of like this is connected to our world, but there's really just like a superhero card game out there, where it's like a because uh, I think if OKKO OK is like a uh, somehow connected to all these shows, that'd be really cool, like Captain Planet and crap. Nice. Honestly, I, mean, I can't I wait. I mean, for they're that. already they're already pretty much connected because of like the precedent started with like. The cartoon cartoons, and I guess the CN City shit. Yeah. Yeah. I miss CN City. But I'm talking was... about like a central universe almost where OKKO is where all these characters are almost hosted. Yeah, that's actually co- a really cool idea. Yeah. Like the closest we've gotten to like a CN show having like hinting at like an expanded like Cartoon Network universe was Billy and Mandy because they would have like fucking like random Hanna Barbera characters appear in there all the time. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be really cool. I hope they add in Captain Planet again because I really like Captain's Planet character. It was really it was really cool to see like a uh, a character nobody thinks about anymore in a in a show. Honestly I hated Captain Planet as a kid. I don't think yeah, that, I no think everybody hated it. Captain Planet. Because he kept me from like watching Pokemon in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I have to have to learn about AIDS before I watch like Pokemon. This is probably one of the best years for a uh, Cartoon Network at Comic-Con. It's really Yeah. Really yeah. Jam- and they also, also they the Steven also Universe movie. They also released a trailer for Infinity Train which we all know is a thing. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, I haven't seen that trailer yet. I just got news of it as soon as you said that. <laughs> You're like, hey guys, this thing's but, happening. You can shut up now. Yeah. Oh, and they also announced the finale for Adventure Time's Labor Day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tune into too that. Ba- too bad people don't care about Adventure it's, Time it's anymore. It's so weird, though, because they already had, like, three different finales. They did the one with, like, his mom... And that was really interesting, and it was a really cool plot line. Then they did the one where it was, like, a weird, like, princess uh, slime or whatever, like, weird one. And then they did, like, a, uh, I don't know what else. But, uh, but Those were the a- miniseries. You yeah. Did. Yeah, there was, before that, the only one I saw was Stakes, where Marceline kills all these vampires. It was, it was Oh, yeah, like that was Stakes. Oh, yeah, that was a cool one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah, I like that one. That one, and I haven't watched Adventure Time since. Yeah, yeah, I saw all of Adventure Time, and it was hell. I don't know. Honestly, how um, um, like I've been trying to rewatch Adventure Time, like um, ever since the finale was announced. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna re- watch all of Adventure Time, and then like, for some reason, when I got to around season three, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. This is, t- I'm like, I don't know. I'm not having as much fun. Jacob when uh, Jacob just masturbates to all the princesses, man. He can't stop watching it. Shut Especially up! How princesses. can I masturbate to them if most of them don't even look like humans? What about hot dog princess? You find a way. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't like fucking wieners. Oh no! Is that why? Is that why, Jacob? Are you that sexist? I, I mean- you no, know, it's like, I got, I got, who am I supposed to, like, masturbate to? Um, Embryo Princess or, um, well, Breakfast Princess, she's pretty hot. and You'll eat her pancakes yeah. any day. Yeah, I'll oh, cut man. her pancakes, Mommy. Oh, <laughs> don't say it like that. Come on, dude. I, I just, I just don't. I just don't fucking know. I'm not I'm a horn dog, but anyway, um, the other big news from Cartoon Network is they announced Steven Universe the movie. Aw, shit! I bet you it's probably is- just gonna be, uh, they're gonna like it's just gonna be a prologue to like a series of like ten other movies that are gonna come out over a course of the next twenty years. And oh, by yeah. the end of the 20 yeah. years... Nope, it's gonna be a TV movie, and it's gonna just feature, like, a standalone character. Oh, because God, Because really? fuck you, Steven Universe thinks it's an anime. It God, really yeah. does. It's yeah, not. it's like, like yeah, like, an- those anime movies where it's like, there's a, a villain that only appears for the movie. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like, um, you it's know... Practically, like- it's practically filler. 
It really is. Like Steven Universe! If they would have made it like a feature film, I would have appreciated it more, honestly. Instead of a TV movie where it just feels like a miniseries. I, s- I don't know. Like, I hope it's good. It's, pr- it's probably going to be good, like but I would I'm, honestly, honestly, I'm not too hyped. For- I would honestly rather have them uh, fund a Teen Titans Go movie. A feature length, uh, feature film kind of deal or whatever. Oh, you mean next week? The Teen Titans Go movie? Yeah, rather than the Teen Titans Go movie, because the Teen Titans Go movie is actually probably going to be good now that I've like looked at the reviews of it. Although most of them are pretty ironic, I have to say. Some of them are saying like it's kind of like Lego Batman, but then again, the media tends to be swayed because uh, they're offered all these luxuries by the companies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, people like a... Uh, like IG and crap are the most untrustworthy uh, forms of media. Yeah, like I remember the Ghostbusters movie got a bunch of good reviews. The yeah, reboot. that was really weird. I, I, I actually <laughs> trust the critics on like Teen Titans Go because like I I'm pretty we're all we all know they're tired of these dark and edgy DC films, so they want something that's a lot lighter and more self-referential. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I definitely action? like a uh, that they. Uh, the th- I think the funniest part is how DC has like a s- bunch of like self-deprecation jokes in a way about Green Lantern. It's pretty funny. Oh man, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, with like the Ghostbusters movie, I actually watched it like a few months ago, like for the first time, the 2016 one. I refuse to watch that. I boycott and that movie for the rest of actually, my life. Actually, don't watch it. It's actually one of the most painful movies I've ever watched because <laughs> oh, so Mr. Plinkett was right. Yeah, it's painfully unfunny. Yeah, just they just got it just got good reviews because of the drama surrounding it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's like, like we don't want to, we don't want, we don't want to cave into these trolls. So yeah. let's give it a good review. The most disappointing part about that movie is that it had the Ghostbusters brand attached to it, and yet yeah. it was like a totally different, awful movie, and the, which also had an awful tie-in video game. It was so painful. Cooler came yeah, back. Yeah, and also, so also Papa John like sponsored that film, and look where he is now. Oh no, oh, he yeah, said the that's PewDiePie right. didn't, word. Uh, didn't Progressive also sponsor them too? Yeah. I, I think so. Also, Pringles? No, Pringles didn't. Every, it's literally just like a uh, like the ni- 1998 Godzilla movie where the marketing was like all around it, and then it was like the worst crap ever. But you could see it was the worst crap ever from like a mile away. I don't know. Like, I can't believe it got a bunch of sponsors. You know what was, like, the weirdest thing that happened during it? What's that? Like, for some reason, like, Ozzy Osbourne showed up for, like, fucking two seconds. I'm like, I'm like, where's he? What's he doing here? Oh, wait, what happened? <laughs> Ozzy! What happened and I'm like, that's the only thing I enjoyed throughout the whole movie. Is wait, Ozzy, Ozzy was in the movie? There. Yeah, Ozzy was just there for two oh, seconds. shit. Ozzy, make this one better, like, please. Save me. <laughs> Wait, did he say anything, or was he yeah, just he on did. screen? He just, yeah, he just showed up. He's like, Sharon, I'm having another flashback. What? What? <laughs> There's no context for that. Holy shit. I have no idea. It was so fucking weird. But I loved it. <laughs> I mean, that must have been the funniest part in the film. That was the <laughs> only part that I liked. Wasn't there also oh that part God. where, like, the ghost bat was on that lady's head? I kind of got a little giggle out of me when the trailer was like, Hey, there's a bat on that on the, on the that one Ghostbuster's head. Yeah. Who cares? Doesn't Who matter. Cares? That movie failed. It's never gonna get a sequel. Oh, yeah. no. It actually might. Oh, don't say that to me, please. Oh, God, please I kind of hope so in a way. Although it's, well, I wish, I'm so angry that they didn't make the original, um, what was it, the fourth movie to Ghostbusters? Because the original fourth movie was awesome, it was like they went to hell and stuff, and it was supposed to be crazy. Dude, that sounds neat. And like, one of the Ghostbusters were supposed to like, turn into a ghost or whatever, and so they would have to work with the ghost and crap. Hmm. 
That's that would it would have been a really cool movie, I think, and I, 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 it just makes me really disappointed that like some things don't come to fruition. Nice. One of the worst things that I think never came to fruition was that time that a, uh, that there was supposed to be a Left for Dead tie-in with the cabin in the woods. That would have been awesome. Yeah, I think that would have been pretty cool if they did that. I don't know. I'm not like super big into Ghostbusters, but I appreciate like the first Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters too. I love Ghostbusters to death, man. It's awesome. I like the animated series, both of them. The real original Ghostbusters or the real, real Ghostbusters. I I like both of them. I really like the real Ghostbusters. The real. It's like they're just taunting the first Ghostbusters TV show. Uh, mm-hmm. What else is there to talk about? What else is there? Oh, what else is there to talk about? I mean, like, um, a lot happened, I well, I can just say that I don't expect Oasis Entertainment to get off the ground, mainly because, like, oh. he's the only one behind the project, and he probably doesn't have a lineup of shows to put on the damn thing. He I know, I feel like, like the only man. show that would, like, I feel like the only show that could fit in Oasis would be, like, Little House on the Prairie. And it, it would just be <laughs> just that show. Just Little House on the Prairie. All the shows is just that. I imagine and he uh, also... the Butch Hartman uh, Kickstarter Oaxis thing. Yeah. I, I think the reason he got 60 grand in 12 hours was because he funded his own projects and that way he'd be guaranteed yeah. to get the money back out. Yeah. And then well, someone. Wait a minute. Made... How. Someone made a fucking meme about, like, um, you know that scene where, like,. <laughs> Squidward trying to take a day off and then saying, you know what? Like, he just imagined Spongebob not trying to make change with Patrick, and he was, like, stupid, and he just gives them all the money in the cash register. Um, they made a meme about that with Spongebob giving money to Butch Hartman. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute. How could Butch fund it if he doesn't have a job? Do you know what his fucking net worth is? No. <laughs> his net worth like is, like, $50 million. He made Holy shit, that's a lot for a cartoonist. I mean, he created big shows. Yeah, like that is Danny. so YouTube. It's his YouTube social blade. Yeah, like I said, he quit like um like Nickelodeon just so he could be a full time YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! And he also claimed credit for creating Crash Bandicoot. And he also talks about his old shows in every video he does. Mm-hmm. 144 to 13.5k a month off YouTube. 10.1k to 162.1k yearly. Yeah, I think I can understand why he needed to make that Kickstarter. There's no way his um YouTube budget would allow it. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... Two years of videos, and then he'd have he'd have a the same amount of money. Yeah, and it's kind of sad. I don't. I don't know. I. I honestly don't care. Like Butch has just got this big fucking ego, just because like um he's batting at the fucking top of the game, and then he just thinks every anything can come to him, anything can happen because he's been successful. Yeah, I mean yeah. he was responsible for the third season of Danny Phantom. Yeah, have you thought about that, Butch? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, was he really? <laughs> He's yeah, very... because like the head writer left to oh, work on God. another show, and it was basically Butch's boat to steer. Yeah. So Butch claims ownership of Danny Phantom, even though he didn't even make the good episode. I mean, he created the show, but he wasn't like a head writer of it. Yeah, and, like same thing with Fairly Odd Parents. You know, he just came up with that concept like, like on the fly. I mean, it's so a he's good not concept. Even a writer of his own things, I guess. They're good concepts. That's all he's good at making good concepts, and then he didn't, he just, come, he's an he didn't even come. He didn't even come up with the name "Fairly Odd Parents." Bill Burnett, the creator of Chalk Zone, came up with the title. Mainly oh yeah, I heard about that too. Didn't like the word "God." Yeah, oh then Butch got tried. <laughs> Yeah. I'm surprised Butch didn't throw a fit that they, that they didn't like the word God. Yeah. He no, tried to get God in his car. He's like, all my shows, but, like, Barely Odd Parents, Dandy Phantom, Tough Puppy, they all have God in them. Why is he so proud of Tough Puppy, too? That's the most frustrating thing. 
Tough Puppies like just forgettable. I mean, it's a it could have been a good concept, but it's just it's too annoying. The only reason too many running gags. The only reason people remember Tough Puppy now is because of like a thick guy. I remember Tough Puppy yeah. because yeah. that one dude from my Carly voice is Tough Puppy. Oh yeah, Jerry. Yeah, and there's also the the cat girl that probably people gift to. Yeah, but, yeah. Like I'm saying, thick guy. He he got what people like more interested in Tough Puppy. Have you seen his like YouTube channel? For some reason, like his stuff is always recommended to me on my YouTube sh- uh, recommendations. Well, you should just probably block him. What were you gonna say, Shade? No, like I just check on his channel just in case. I'm like, all right, what what's he gonna do next? Who's he gonna upload now? I don't I, I don't know what I was gonna say. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Oh my god, his most recent video was how Poof saved Fairly Odd Parents from cancellation. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, Butch. It just kind of shows that any man or corporation can make a YouTube channel and be really successful, and it's not about uh, having your heart in the game anymore. It's about having the funds and crap to... <laughs> He did one about why did Danny Phantom end? <laughs> I don't care why it ended. Oh, are, are you serious? Like, what? I think people already know how it ended and like why it ended. No, why did it end? Mm-hmm. I, I think he's that desperate for views. Let's see what else does he got. He's got. What if <laughs> Sam went into des- Ghost Portal? What? <laughs> How to train your <laughs> dragon, speed pain, crash nebula, cancel. Like, dude, he uploads a lot. What the fuck? Well, he, he just... He's more desperate than Doug Walker. <laughs> he is. Is he, the, is he the new channel awesome? No, because, like, he hasn't been doing this for long. At least he worked in the industry, but now he's just lost it. Yeah. He's literally he like knows the guy this shit that made like your work. childhood. He just changes YouTube channel name to uh, your childhood. God damn it. <laughs> I made your childhood. It wouldn't have been possible without yeah, my I... sperm. Here's his YouTube description. <laughs> yes, I'm the real guy. I created your childhood. A.K.A. Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, Tough Puppy, and now the new network. Yeah, that's your network. No, that you was forgot about uh, Bunsen is a Beast. And Bunsen is a Wait, the Noog network? What? He already is that tried to Oaxis? He already tried making a streaming service, and it's like 99 cents. I'm like, I'm not buying that. Yeah, Wait, he has insane. another streaming service, too? He just yeah, uploads dude. his cartoons onto it. It's really stupid. Yeah, it's 99 weird. cents. I'm like, if it were free, I'd understand. Like, it actually consider downloading, but it's 99 cents. I'm not doing that. Fuck that shit. Yeah, okay, fuck Butch Hartman, me. you're a hack. No, no, it's the least he can give me because I created your childhood. <laughs> and he wants God inside of all of us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, here's... Oh, like, I think we already talked about, like, what he's like, yo, everyone on the internet. Like, kids nowadays have more access to the internet, and they're, and they're depressed nowadays. Back then, we had, didn't have depression. <laughs> <laughs> and he's thinking, oh, actually, that'll cure depression. I'm, I'm surprised no, Butch has never, like, had any experience with depression, I guess. I'm just assuming by his statements, right? But he pretends like a... Uh, it like, never existed. It never existed until the internet. Like, well, did he not, like, man. have it, like... Did he, did he not become, like, clinically depressed, like, at least once? Because he literally works in an industry that's really stressful because of all the critics and stuff. Yeah, you probably could have ran into, like, someone in the animation industry who's depressed. Because I know a lot of anime fucking depressed as shit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's, like, a Christian conservative. Of course he would think, like, depression and pills are fake news. Oh, yeah. Anyway, like um, so, yeah. He probably believes that crystals will heal all depression. Oh man! Oh, God. What's next? Is he gonna like go on a skateboard wearing like an Avenged Sevenfold hoodie, charges crystals, and smoke <laughs> his vape, and saying how deep his horoscope was? 
All right. Um, oh my god! If I oh my god, he's probably gonna do that now. Oh god, yeah. I feel like he's like right outside of all of our bait. houses simultaneously. He's like four different clones. He's like, "Hello, fellow children." Or what is How's that it going, Hart fan? With, what's that one meme with Steve Buscemi where he's like, "Hello, How do you fellow, fellow kids? kids?" Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's but... he's fucking awful. Butch Hartman is probably like not as bad as like John Kay or Chris Savino, but he's still kind of just lost his way. Yeah. yeah, like no one could be as bad as John K. No one. No one. No one. Can- this has been a really bad year for Nickelodeon. Like I'm surprised. They had such I a just- good build up last year. I don't know what happened. No, yeah, like- we had like some goodwill, but it's just ruined. But hey, that Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show came out. And the animation oh. looks pretty oh, yeah. awesome. And I, oh, I saw an episode already, and it's fucking sweet. Whatever happened to those one animators that made like the really dark and gritty team and team movie that was like CGI? I, I have no idea. Oh, Amaji. Yeah, I think they went under. Yeah. Did they really? Yeah. I liked it. I liked it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're gonna um, make a Legend of Zelda movie, but like Nintendo said no to them. Yeah, I saw oh, that damn. they made like a really yeah. awesome looking yeah. pilot. Yeah, that shit looked awesome. Yeah, proof of concept. Zelda could use a movie. They really could. I'm surprised they're making like a Mario movie when there's like no material for Mario except that he's a recognizable they, character. Like I, they think, could just like make something up. They really could, and then you have a. a and then you have Zelda over here. Uh, like, there's so that much material. That has a material. bunch of lore. Like, there's so much material, right? And I, th- yeah. I don't want, I don't want Illumination to do it because Illumination is gonna simplify it all into, here's Link, he's a good guy. Here's Ganondorf, bad guy. Here's Zelda, she princess. N- and there's fine. some minions somewhere. Yeah, there's like minions. Oh no. But not. Who would be the minions in Zelda? Um, probably like um the fairies. You think uh, no. I they, want the they probably use like a they probably them. use the Wind Waker a uh, art style and crap What's just because it's so much cheaper. The Octoroks, they're probably yeah, gonna sing like um they're probably gonna do the Mission Impossible theme like in the Lorax. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> they can't recycle the same joke. It's like recycling the same models. A la sing. Aw shit. <laughs> oh yeah. I love my favorite character in Sing, the Gator. The Gator. <laughs> the Gator. <laughs> and with that said, you all can go die in a hole, because this is the good boys.